Hello one, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. Guys and gals, if you're not a member of the forum, get on over there and get signed up. We talk about all different types of topics from prepping to hiking to camping to fishing to gardening, just about everything. What we're looking at here are three rows of potatoes. And it just astonishes me sometimes. It's like you've got this nice row of potatoes here, hardly any weeds in it. Then yeah, that's a space between the row, there's nothing there. And that's a row of potatoes. And see how that one there is just all covered up, all laid up with weeds, and I just don't understand. It's like this row here, nice and pretty, and that one row over there, row, row over there, just full of weeds, which is not gonna really hurt anything. I mean, your fertilizer is getting ate up by some of the weeds, but it's no big deal. Anyway, so you, some of y'all may be asking, well, why don't you use herbicides, pesticide, herbicides, stuff like that? If I do use it, then I try to use a type of organic herbicide her, uh, pesticide but give nature her part give god his part then we take the rest and so try to live in balance with nature try not to really destroy anything using artificial means one of the things i hear a lot on the forum and just the internet in general is uh, how do you know when it's time to harvest potatoes when can you harvest potatoes no you do not pick potatoes they're under the ground so this is very <laughs> Somebody may think, well, Kevin, I see any potatoes growing on there. That's because they're under the ground. <laughs> anyway, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to dig around one of these plants and take a sampling of the potatoes. But generally, generally, depending on the size, of, some people like little small potatoes, say stew potatoes. Some like a bigger potato for baking. So it a lot of it depends on how large you want your potatoes to grow. So if you want a small potato for stews, stuff like that, then you harvest the potato early. If you want it uh, to, to grow larger, now don't, don't hang on just a second. That potato plants will produce a lot of small sized potatoes. They'll produce a couple of big ones generally, then they'll produce a bunch of little small ones. So, whenever you dig up a potato plant, you're going to get a little bit of a mixture of both. And so, what you do, if you want to wait till the potatoes are finished growing, you wait till the top of the plant is dying. And you wait, see this plant right here? Nice, healthy looking plant. That means it is still growing the potatoes. Now, we still got a little ways to go. See those blooms right there? Sometimes these potatoes will bloom. And then, for some reason, I'm not sure the exact reason why, but they bloom. Then after that, the potatoes, the top of the potato plants die. And so, no, you don't save the seeds from the blooms. You don't save the seeds from the blooms and plant the seeds. You plant the potato, and I've got some videos out there about cutting potatoes, getting them ready to plant. But anyway, so let's just pick one of these plants down through here, guys, and we're going to do a sampling of how well everything's growing. So let's just get on over here. I tell you what, let's pick this one right here. This is just random, guys. It's just random. We got this row. That row, that row. We're going to be doing a video whenever we start harvesting all these potatoes. So let's take this potato right here. Get these weeds from around it. Where's it at? Going to the ground over here. All right. So let's just dig around the plant. And it's going to be down here. Little baby, little bitty potato right there. There's one right there. That's what I was talking about, the stew-sized potatoes and stuff like that would be excellent for stews. That right there, that right there is not really not even worth keeping. But, all right. So how do you see? And there's another potato right there, little small potato. So we're not going to do anything with this plant. We're not going to pull the potatoes out or anything. We're just looking to make sure it's producing. Now, these potatoes have been in the ground since February. And usually, early February, and usually they are ready, say, by the early May, the mid-May. So they've still, on average, they still have got another, maybe another week or so. But it seems like planting them early did not mean that we got an early harvest. So that's something I've wondered about. Maybe the cold weather uh, delayed the plant from sprouting because they did take a while to sprout, even though they were planted it still took them three weeks to come up. Okay, now let's take this plant right here for an example. See how these leaves are wilted over? Those will turn into blooms right there. 
See how that leaf right there is wilted over? That's kind of like what we're looking for, but on the whole plant. It's normal for plants in direct sunlight to wilt. It's totally normal, to perfectly healthy for a plant in direct sunlight to wilt, like that right there. Is whenever the sun goes down, the heat gets off the plant, or the leaves still wilted then. But that's the kind of stuff that, we, that we're looking for to see if the plant is ready to harvest. All right, we did a sampling on that one. Let's ease on over here, guys. Right, let's go, go on down here. I know y'all see me, Kevin, you're a big garden dead up with weeds. That's fine. That's fine. It's not hurting anything, guys. Let's go on down here. Just a random sampling. How about this one right here? It's totally random, guys. We're just going to pull them weeds out. Oh, there it is right there. See that? That's what we're looking for, guys. Nice potato right there. That's what we're looking for right there. See that? That's what we're looking for. All right, so we know that they're making. We're not going to bother them. They still probably have another week or two before they're fully grown. So we're going to go from there. Anyway, I will talk to you later.